Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about transferred electron devices. What do you mean by transferred electron device and which diodes are known as transferred electron device? What is the theory related to this transferred electron device? So by seeing the name, we can understand that the electrons are being transferred from one region to another region. Okay, that is the main uh, uh, meaning of this one transferred electron region. What do you mean by one region to another region? Actually, we know uh, from the energy band diagram, we can say that due to the application of voltage, the electrons are moving from valence band to conduction band. And later, if you increase the voltage, the electrons are moving there so that the current will flow. That is actually the normal uh, movement of the electron from one band to another band. But in the transport electron device, the operation is completely different and of course I will explain one by one. Now coming to this TEDs, transport electron device, what do you mean by TED? TEDs are nothing but we can also say TED stands for transferred electron device transferred electron device so these TEDs are a thing but they are made up of they are made up of compound semiconductors compound semiconductors that means definitely in order to prepare this particular device transport electron devices we definitely go for the mixing of two different semiconductors like a gallium arsenide indium phosphate or any type of compound devices like a, a gallium nitride or any type of compound semiconductors they generally exhibit they exhibit negative resistance characteristics negative resistance characteristics so remember that the transport electronic devices what are the examples for the transport electronic devices all such devices will exhibit negative resistance characteristics what do you mean by negative resistance characteristics as voltage increases current decreases generally according to ohm's law as voltage increases current should increase but in the negative resistance characteristics device such as transport electronic devices or gun diodes we can say as for example as voltage increases current decreases this is what the negative resistance characteristics okay so they exhibit some periodic fluctuations of current due to the negative resistance effect when the threshold voltage crosses threshold voltage or electric field crosses some certain voltage like uh, 2000 to 3000 volts okay uh, these negative resistance exhibits at 2000 volts to 3000 volts range that means when we are increasing the voltage and it crosses 2000 volts to 3000 volts and then only this type of negative resistance characteristic exhibits okay and one more important point here negative resistance characteristics devices and positive resistance suppose if you are taking a pn junction diode that normally exhibits positive resistance characteristics and this uh, short key diode or tunnel diode or this gun diode all these are negative resistance characteristic devices uh, negative resistance characteristics are nothing but suppose if you are taking a negative resistance characteristic device that negative resistance device what do you mean by negative resistance device that dissipates the power dissipates the power suppose if you are taking the positive resistance characteristic device
positive resistance device that absorbs the power okay that means which device we can use a you can use as a source this one negative resistance characteristics so negative resistance characteristics devices we can use them as a sourcing device because they are releasing the energy into the next circuits okay that means they can use to get, deliver the power but whereas a positive resistance characteristic device they are absorbing the power so they cannot generate the power they can utilize the power given by other devices okay that is the main important thing of this advantage of this negative resistance characteristics devices another thing is negative uh, these uh, transport electron devices are working with uh, uh, are operated with hot electrons these TEDs are operated with hot electrons transferred electron devices are operated with hot electrons hot electrons means what do you mean by hot electrons hot electrons whose thermal energy whose energy is whose energy is greater than the thermal energy greater than the thermal energy okay so normally a normal transistors are working with the uh, uh, just above or equal to this thermal energy but if this transfer electronic devices are particularly operated with the energy which is very higher than the uh, thermal energy that's why they we can say they are working with hot electrons okay so example for this tunnel example for this example for transferred electron device is gun diode okay the gun effect will come under this transferred electron device okay now coming to another important theory that this uh, gun diodes are generally exhibit they, that is known as rwh theory rwh theory or we can also say it is the gun effect okay here i am not explaining about the gun diode i will explain about the gun diode structure and operation of that gun diode in the next video but in this video i am explaining about the gun effect what do you mean by gun effect and what do you mean by this rwh theory rwh theory stands for ridley watkins ridley watkins hill sum theory ridley watkins hill sum theory so rwh theory is known as ridley watkins hill sum theory it is also known as it is also termed as it is also termed as what is that two valley theory two valley theory okay gun diodes works with this principle gun diodes are working with this principle in this what happens is the electrons are jumping from lower valley region to lower valley region to upper valley region upper valley region so lower valley region to upper valley region the electrons will move from one valley region to another valley region that is the reason why it is known as two valley theory 
that is the reason it is also known as two valley theory as the electron is jumping from one valley to another valley and it is also a part of this ted is a transferred electron device that's why it is moving the electron from one valley to another valley coming to this explanation of with the diagrams see here this is the valence band okay in the bottom part it represents the energy band diagram how the transfer the electron devices are generally working when we are increasing the voltage more than 2 kilo volts to 3 kilo volts and beyond that this is the valence band initially where the electrons are resided okay and this is the forbidden band with energy gap like 1.43 electron volts above which we are having the conduction band if you observe this conduction band it is having two regions so one is the lower valley region another one is the upper valley region okay so in the lower valley region this is the mobility of the electrons the mobility of electron is 0 0.068 into m naught m naught is the standard mass of this electron and mobility sorry this is mass and the mobility of the electron it is 8000 centimeter square per volt second and coming to this mobility when you are going to the upper valley region the mobility of the electron it is going to 180 centimeter square per volt second and the mass of the electron is 1.2 times standard mass m naught now what happens when we are increasing the temperature normally when we are increasing the uh, working with at this uh, room temperature okay like a 30 degrees celsius and increase the voltage up to 1000 to 2000 kilovolts then what happens the electrons are moving from valence band to conduction band see why we are talking about the voltage beyond kilovolts like a thousand kilovolts because here the gun diode or transfer electronic devices are microwave devices which are working with the high power devices okay normally uh, low voltage devices are different and these high power devices are different gun diodes all these are microwave components which are working at uh, high frequencies with high power okay now we have increased the voltage up to some thousand volts or 800 volts like that then until that voltage the electrons are moving from valence band to conduction band they are reached to the lower valley region but not to the upper valley region in order to move these the electrons from lower valley to upper valley definitely we should increase the voltage beyond three kilo volts okay so see here what is the mobility of these electrons it is 8000 centimeter square and the mass of these electrons which are in the conduction band is about 0 0.068 into standard mass okay now coming to the voltage increment now we are increasing the voltage much further beyond this 3 kilo volts so when it reaches the voltage around 3.4 kilo volts okay so when we are increasing the input voltage more beyond that 3 point kilo volts then what happens the electrons will jump from this lower valley region to upper valley region hope you understand okay normally for lower voltages they are moving from valence band to conduction band if you still increase the threshold voltage like 3.4 kilo volts then the electrons are moving from lower valley region to upper valley region which is the energy band difference between the lower valley region and upper valley region is 0 0.36 electron volts what is the difference between these two what happens when the electrons are moving from lower valley region to upper valley region due when the electrons are in the lower valley region this effect is pause to resistance effect that means as voltage increases current increases why see here what is the mobility of electrons it is 8000 centimeter square per volt second what is the mass of the electron it is 0 0.068 into m naught mass of the electron is less value mobility of the electron is more value so electron is having a feasibility to move and produces the current as the within as voltage increases okay mass of the electron is less weight is less mass is less so the electron has a chance to move they are free free electrons okay that means the uh, when the electron reaches from valence band to conduction band that to lower valley region then the electron becomes free electron and it moves so that the 
current increases with respect to the voltage that is the, that is the reason we can say it is in the positive resistance region but when the electron going to the upper valley region what is the mass of the electron it is 1.2 times standard mass and what is the mobility of the electron it is 180 cm square see mobility of the electron is mobility of the electron is very less see the mobility here it is previously it was 8000 cm square now it is 180 cm square per volt second mobility of the electron is very 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 less compared to the lower valley region and what about the mass mass is 1.2 times the standard mass and here it is 0.068 very less but here it is mass of the electron is also very high so that means as the mass is more mobility is less electron cannot move anywhere so that there is no current so current going down current decreases so that's why when the electrons are moving from lower valley region to upper valley region current decreases so until it reaches the upper valley region current decreases when it reaches the lower valley upper valley region again current decreases these are the va characteristics of this transferred electron devices like if you are take, taking an example uh, gun diode we can see so from here to here it exhibits a negative resistance device negative resistance characteristics until it is positive resistance characteristics okay this is what the ridley watkin selsum stated that when the electrons are in the lower valley region as the velocity as the mobility of the electron is very high they are having a chance to move so that elect current will flow with respect to the voltage but when we are moving to the upper valley region uh, he is saying that uh, um, he observed this type of nature in the uh, gun divide that's uh, that's why this ridley watkin helsum theory uh, ridley watkin helsum theory or we can say it is two valley theory two valleys because we are studying about upper valley region and lower valley region so two valley theory or we can also say it is a gun effect gun effect exhibited by the exhibited by gun device or gun diode okay so this is what the two valley theory in the next video i will explain about the construction of gun diode thank you